Hello everybody and welcome to this special little Thursdays video. At last it is a heavy video and not a sad Thursday video. I will also like to mention that this is still bonus videos so don't expect regular Thursdays videos. But today we are going to go on a 300 kilometer journey to get some ants and then take a 300 kilometer journey back again. And this is not really about the ants. The video with all of my new Mesa Barbers currently will be this Sunday. But right now, this is just a little video of me driving all the way over there, getting the ants and driving home again. It is mainly just a video of how the Danish highway looks. But yeah, guys, uh, either way, I hope you like this little vlog video. Maybe you want to see more vlogs. I don't know. You write that in the comments. But yeah, guys, it's time to start the video. And I hope you enjoy this little vlog. Good morning guys, we are now on the road and it is a 2.2 hour long journey with around 235 kilometers. So we have a little GoPro set up which hopefully works as a little cool time lapse, but else I'll do some updates on the way.
we're now gonna drive over Storbelt's Bridge. I think one of the big bridges here in Denmark. So we are currently taking uh, the first stop on the trip. It's just a little pee break. Uh, I'm a little bit scared that the GoPro haven't really recorded at all. But you know, you know it better than me because you're seeing the video right now. So has it been recording? But yeah, guys, it is starting to be a long trip now. We've driven for two hours, I think. And the GoPro is starting to run out of power, so I don't think there'll be any more GoPro shots before we hopefully get the camera charged tonight. Yeah, so I guess the next clip will be over with the guy who sells the ants in around four hours, so yeah. So we're now only a few minutes, minutes away from the cellar and we're gonna go in and grab the ants, make a little video of the ants and then head home again. So guys, a little future me update. This right here is the current setup for the ant colony. And my plan was pretty simply to just split the outworld and the nest apart and transfer the nest separately and the outworld separately as well. But guys, isn't this colony just so amazing and beautiful? So we now have the ants. Uh, I took a big aquarium with me to place in the little the nest so it would be a little bit more solid in the car so if we had to break hard the nest wouldn't just come flying so it's now an um, aquarium behind us and this is actually the Mimikaruba for Mikarium, a little easter egg and then we have the outworld disconnected on its side next to it so we now have a three hour and 13 minute long trip home and it is 335 kilometers so Going home again.
So one of the highlights that isn't the big Storbeltsbroen is the small Lillebeltsbroen, which just means small Lillebelt bridge. That is now where we are. So we are in a 130 km per hour zone on the highway and we are currently driving 10 km per hour. So yeah, luckily the GPS have only added 5 minutes, but I can't really see why because we are almost standing still right now. So. So we have just made our last stop, we got some drinks and uh, a little pee break and now we have 1 hour and 40 minutes of driving home once again. Early in the video I said something wrong, I said we were meeting with the seller at 6pm I think I said and it is actually 4pm we met. So we are now on the way home and we'll be home at around 8pm, a little more than that. So we currently have some really lovely Danish weather, the only around 60 minutes remaining. I can feel that I'm pretty tired, but this weather is just lovely to drive in. So what happened guys, the GoPro is officially dead, so the next clip will be us being home and taking the ants up on the ant shield.
So guys, I'm now home again. I've talked a little bit with the salesman of the ants about how I will make the setup, but I have covered his setup and so I've just fed the ants some crickets, pre-killed of course, a little bit of honey and a little bit of seeds just to, you know, if they were hungry I can satisfy them. And yeah, the real video with the Metabarbrus colony should hopefully come out this Sunday if this is Thursday and it should be if I've planned this correctly. And yeah guys, I'm just, it's such a crazy colony. Just can get a little close up once again. I mean, after I just put them in, most of the colony have now moved down to the bottom section where the queen is also hopefully hiding. And if all goes well, I should have, these are two levels, but they are meant to be one, but the salesman was very smart in putting them like this so they wouldn't fill as much. But my plan is to move them around so we have two over here, a tube that goes all the way over here, have two nests here, and a tube that goes from the well, one side to the other nest, and one side into the outworld, and out on the other side to the other outworld. Of course, this will all be on the same floor, but that is my thought at the moment. So yeah, I just fed them some seeds in here. There are some crickets also in here, and uh, maybe a little bit too much hunting, but you know, we'll see that tomorrow. Uh, yeah, can we see where the crickets are? I think they are located down here since there's a little bit of chaos. And there's also a little bit of chaos here. This colony is just chaotic all over the place. I am in complete love with it. When I had to connect these two together once again, there were ants everywhere. And I loved it. It's, yeah, it's so fun. So I can't wait to do a proper video on these girls. It's it's a completely amazing colony, so I'm really grateful to have this opportunity to get this colony, so yeah, thank you. And with that all out of the way, as I said in my earlier video, my studio has broken down, my wall has broken, um, so yeah. But yeah guys, hope you have liked this little vlog, I think it may be my first proper vlog. Yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe everyone, and I'll see all of you in another video. Bye!